Ruth, what have you been doing here at the Beyond Borders Festival uh, today? Today I've been doing a, a session with two very distinguished BBC mm. war correspondents uh, on a, a session called Beyond Trebinitsa, which yep. is about uh, reporting genocide around the world uh, and how that reporting has changed as rolling news has come in, uh, but also how you can change policy mm -hmm. uh, and how you can change people's views of, of, of what's going on in conflicts through, the, through yep. the words that they've been saying. Okay, that's a really valuable thing. I have to say that the Beyond Ford Borders Festival for me is a fantastic opportunity to put Scotland on the map and also to bring so many people from around the world here to Scotland to talk about issues that, that are important, important to us all. Is there anything in particular that, that, that really struck you? Well, I think because we've had such a strong debate in Scotland over the last yeah. couple of years about mm -hmm. our constitutional yeah. future, there's been a, a real focus uh, even in the other parts of the world yeah. on what's been going on here. Sometimes yeah. you've got to take yourself away from that and, and yeah. look beyond beyond your own border, which is uh -huh. what this festival is all about. And, you know, to be able to, to kind of swap sides, go back on the other side of the microphone and, and interview two journalists uh, uh, and, and we can sort of do each other's job for a yeah. while and, and just have a wee look behind the, the, the kind of curtain of, of what goes on and, and what goes into it and how well crafted and how well thought and, and some of the restrictions you have to place on yourself yeah. uh, in making that the, the sort of... Uh, conversations and the reports that they've been doing. I mean, I'm 36 years old. Mm. Um, Kate Adie has been a war correspondent for more than 35 years, so almost all of my yep. natural life, what I have seen and what I think I know about the world has been shaped by her and Alan Little and, yep. and, and other reporters yep. like them because it's, it's them that tell me what's going on. I know that's something you were doing this morning. W one thing that, 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 I mean, obviously you make a very important point that you and I were on different sides of the, mm. the constitutional debate and we all have diff different views. But one thing I think we're both doing, I, I want to touch upon that, is um, also at Beyond Borders Festival we're going to be talking with women who are affected by conflict in, in Syria and Iraq and, and, and Yemen and that's something you've done this morning. Do you want to touch upon that? Sure, I spoke to two female MPs in yep. the Iraqi parliament mm -hmm. and one of the issues that they really want the rest of the world to know more about mm -hmm. is the concerted uh, um, sort of campaign of sexual violence against the yep. Yazidi female population yep. mm -hmm. back in, in Iraq and uh, these are women who because they're Yazidi they are not Muslim therefore mm -hmm. Desh which is carrying mm -hmm. it out um, which is, is their word I know there's a, a debate on what we call these well, people yep. but, but they call them Desh mm -hmm. um, are taking these women away and systematically conducting sexual violence upon them mm -hmm. uh, and trying to impregnate them so yep. that there is a bloodline that comes out of that which is you know that, that goes on and mm -hmm. uh, we, as a westernised nation, have only now just begun to talk about sexual violence as a weapon of war, and it's yeah. been going on, mm -hmm. you know, for time immemorial. Yeah. Um, and it's something that it, there is an incumbency upon all of us mm -hmm. not to sweep this under the carpet because, for some reason, it's uh, forbidden or it's something mm -hmm. that is unpleasant or you, you know is, is something that's taboo. Yeah. You know, we can't solve these problems unless we can identify them and address them, mm -hmm. and we have a responsibility to lead the world yep. in explaining that these are happening mm -hmm. and then discussing how we stop it from happening. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a really good point. I mean, we're, we, you and I both commemorated um, 20th anniversary of Srebrenica earlier on this year in the Bosnian conflict where you had the, the, the progress um, mm -hmm. in terms of recognition of sexual violence as a, as a weapon of war, but it's clear that we've still got a long, long way to go. And that, that came out in your conversation with the Iraqi MPs earlier on today. It did, and there's a, a discussion too about who can lead that conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think it's very difficult for the people who have been on the receiving end a lot of times mm -hmm. there is feelings not just of great trauma because yeah. of the violence that they've mm -hmm. suffered but also of, of shame of disrespect mm -hmm. of uh, cultural issues that that involves and that's one of the reasons why it's used yeah. uh, a lot of uh, leading politicians in countries where this systematically happens mm -hmm. for those same cultural issues don't feel that they're able to talk about it particularly men don't feel they're able to talk about what's happened to the female population yeah. in mm -hmm. the country. So I think there is a, a real responsibility for us to show the way forward and in, in how we do that. Yeah, OK. I mean, and, and, and we also see that the, the great role and the, the job that Beyond Borders are, are, are doing. What what, 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 what have been your... How, how have you felt? What, 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 what have been your thoughts about being down here? What's, what's, what's really struck you about the work that's going on at Beyond Borders? Well, I think what's struck me about the work here is the sheer number of people and the difference of background. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, this is... Uh, a whole bunch of yeah, clearly professional people are involved in uh, full time in mm -hmm. diplomacy and politics and journalism and uh, sort of NGOs, mm -hmm. third sector organisations, but also just concerned citizens of Scotland yeah. or other countries that have settled in Scotland who want to talk about the world around them. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a, a real opportunity for people to have 
an intelligent conversation to have any prejudices that they have challenged, to learn new things, yeah. uh, to, to really think about and consider something that they might see you know, buried on page 29 of a newspaper under the international mm -hmm. section that they actually feel that they, they don't have to commit to yeah. or get involved in. And mm -hmm. it, it's a real opportunity to do that. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, for me, it's a great opportunity to put, to put Scotland on the stage and to bring people here. I know that you were chatting to Kate Adie and Alan Little this morning, and I'm very excited that I'll get the opportunity to go and speak to Kate Adie next. Um, but thank you for taking the time to chat today, Ruth. Thank you very much, Stephen.